going on everyone it's your girl Rissa and I'm back again with another video today I'm just gonna be doing just my simple makeup removal I'm gonna show you some of the skincare items that I use to help kind of take care of my skin so let's go on ahead and let's get started all right guys so one of the things I do want to disclaim as I you know as I go through the video is that a good majority of the products that I use on my face is um, from secret um, from secret their skincare line um, I do like a good chunk of their products that I've tried so far so yeah <laughs> so I just wanted to get, let you guys know that so the first thing I usually do as I'm re re removing my makeup is I usually try to take off the eye makeup first because just because it's usually like a little bit heavier um, but secret does have this dual it's a dual dual phase eye makeup remover um, and for me personally um, one of the things that I do appreciate and do like about it is that a it doesn't sting my eye B, it comes off pretty quickly and easily and that is one of the things I am all about convenience uh, I'm not you know trying to sit there and kind of like wipe 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 all day so um, the instruction does say to give it like a good little bit of a shake um, and the colors again look how pretty that is it can listen that that color is so pretty so I'm gonna go ahead and get my little cotton swab here um, just a few drops is all I do on there it's kind of like moisten wasting the pad just a little bit um and that's all she wrote ladies and gents so I just kind of go in and take you know do the eyebrows first and um this makeup did have quite a few glitter glitzy piece within there look at that like look how quick look how quickly it removes that and which is good because I know normally a lot of times you know the glitter the glitter pieces does tend to leave like some traces on there or you know it's like running along your face but the cotton like it sticks to the cotton and to what's on there so that is really that is like really really awesome so the, I do appreciate that that it comes out pretty quickly um, hold on, hang on my contacts about to slide out <laughs> um, wow look at that that is awesome so um, that did kind of remove it really quickly in which I do appreciate and it didn't hurt or anything like that um, like I said again you know however they have their eye makeup set you know it doesn't burn or sting my eyes which is good because um, I know I've had a few like eye makeup removers that I've tried before in the past that have kind of like stung my eye as I'm trying to you know remove it and your eyes are you know super super delicate so you know you do have to be careful you have to give it like a little bit of TLC and like I said, like that is really awesome to how cleanly it's taking off, you know, my makeup and getting rid of the glitter. So we don't, I don't want, you know, I don't want to be going out looking like a little pix, little pixie fairy, <laughs> like a little, like Tinkerbell. So, um, that is again like awesome how quickly it did that, and I didn't have to stand here, stand here and kind of like rub, 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 rub for everything to kind of get off. So. I'm liking that again so that is the dual phase eye makeup remover again super super quick super efficient I absolutely love it um, the next thing that I normally do after after remove the eye makeup is remove the makeup that's on the face and that is I use the secret again more secret I told you guys this is gonna be a secret video <laughs> at least a good chunk of my my products are secrets um, so the secret eye makeup remover this thing again it smells really great it's almost like a, like a very faint like you know baby baby powder ish kind of a smell um but ow, oops, forgot I had a boob on my finger over there but one of the things with wipe is you know I like for it to get off most of the stuff on my face um and not really leave anything behind which is good you know get as much dirt off as possible before I kind of go through and do like a cleansing round so and again one of the really really awesome perks too is I like a good makeup wipe that can take off lipstick especially red lipstick man red lipsticks can be such oh such a pain to get off like you know it kind of lingers everywhere depending on which kind of wipe that you're using kind of drags everywhere and one of the things I do believe that this um, 
this this wipe is good for all skin types if I'm not mistaken that's what I saw on their website I'll drop the link below and stuff in the comment just for you guys to go and look at it if you guys are interested in any of this stuff so one of the things I forgot which one of the brands of makeup removers that I use but like after I had like put it on my face it left like a weird kind of a tingling sensation and I have like a slight like combination combination skin slight sensitive sensitive skin um, so you know any kind of weird tingle or so or burning sensation left from um, a makeup remover is not good so I like like this one so far it's very cool it has a nice soothing effect again I can use it around my eyes no issue and it did get rid of my lipstick which is good um, the girl's face was dirty. <laughs> it was not really dirty. It's 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 makeup, you know. Um, all right. So once I'm usually done with a makeup wipe, I go through and um, I cleanse my face and let me go on ahead here at the shop. All right. I think that's good enough. All right. I think it's good enough. It looks good to me. So. Um, if voila all right so all right so the next item that I usually use is a cleanser to kind of go on ahead and get rid of most of the you know all of the dirt and stuff that's been on my face um, let me show you guys what I do use so for my facial cleanser one of the things that I use is a secret mud soap now the mud soap can be used on your face as well as your body which is good um, it does remove you know a lot of the impurities and the dirt it does contain mineral and minerals from the Dead Sea and it does give the skin a nice healthy glow. Um, one of the things I would say, one of the things that you know about, to let you know about, <laughs> about the mud soap is that it also kind of helps clear up, you know, some dark spots. So if that's one of the issues that you have, that you can use the mud soap to kind of help alleviate some of that. I know for myself, I do have like a little dark spot, you know, I'll be, be tweezing the billy goats, y'all. And then, you know, sometimes from like the constant pinching, um, it does leave little dark spots on my face. Like the other day I went ahead, I don't know if you can see it there, see there's like a little dark spot. Um, I had a little pimple and I was a little bit impatient and kind of went through and um you know went ahead and pinched it and it created a little bit of dark spot so it's kind of good to know that there is a soap that kind of helps with that to kind of reduce and kind of fades out the you know dark spot issues i know quite a few people do have that um so i'm gonna go ahead and get started with my cleansing this is the size of my soap well it's kind of worn down just a little bit but this is not the size that the soap comes in but i have been using it so it does have a little bit of wear and tear but it, you know i can you know apply it to my skin directly or I could have set it up my hand, but I'm doing a little, you know, a little cheat sheet right now, just because I'm being lazy. Um, but this soap, I mean, again, it's been really fantastic for my skin um, to kind of help kind of fade out some of those dark spot issues that I've been having. Um, but I do really like it a lot. I do have one for my face, and I do have one that I use on my body, but, oh. But yeah, I absolutely do like the mud soap a lot. Like it's it's really good. And again, like with you know, one of the, the awesome thing about the Dead Sea it does it does contain like 21 minerals, only 12 of them that are, you know, um we call it you can only find them within the Dead Sea area. So um that's kind of cool getting some of those, you know, property minerals and pro you know properties but into my skin to kind of help with it. So all right, let me go ahead, wash this face off, and get started with the next step. Whew. All right, now that my face is all nice and clean, um, I usually go through with a toner just to make sure I've gotten rid of all any kind of impurities or any kind of residue that's left on my face. The toner that I'm currently using is, who's this? Designers, the Witch Hazel um, original. It's non-alcoholic, so it doesn't burn. Um, and you know what toner does? It, again, it does help to remove residue. Um, it does help to, you know, get anything out of your your pores that might be left over. So, you know, I always do. Work, you can do a toner in the morning and in the evening as well. Um, it kind, of, like I said, it does help with the, the, your pores and help to get rid of any additional dirt that you might have missed from while you're clean, you know, while you've done, you know, you cleanse your skin. 
just in case you know sometimes you know they can be a little tricky or like to hide in there uh, I don't want anything leaving, leaving on my face so uh, this one's alcohol free so I can't it's safe enough for me to kind of use in my eyes just in case you know I don't want any dust mites or whatever those little mite things <laughs> Um, that, you know, that can infect your eyes from having, like, leftover makeup and stuff on there, so, um, that's definitely not something that I want. So, see, there, I mean, there's still, like, a little bit of dirt, I don't know if you guys can see that, there's a little bit of dirt, a few little pieces of glitter and stuff that comes off of it, um, I guess that was from, from the eyeshadow. So, this is why we always want to do a toner to kind of help get rid of whatever additional might be left over on our face, so... Um, all right, and voila. All right, so let's get rid of that. Up next, what I usually do is to, all right, so we're gonna add back some moisture to our face. So myself personally, I do use a facial a facial oil. Um, again, I've realized that this helps with my combination skin, because especially a lot in my T-zone, you know, that air tends to dry out pretty quickly. So I, I've noticed that when I do use the facial oil, it does help to kind of like keep, you know, my entire skin kind of moist. I don't, you know, um, I don't have to worry about like, you know, certain areas and stuff drying out. So this is the, Jesus, what I use, it's by Pro Essence uh, Facial Oil. I just kind of go ahead and just do a little three, a little dab real quick and put it on. Quick, simple, and easy. A little here, a little there. And just kind of rub it into my skin. Um, kind of just whoop, it gets into my eye. So just kind of, you know, put on the facial oil. It's kind of sealing some of that moisture so my skin doesn't dry out. Because um, what I've realized is like most moisturizers, it seems like I usually have to put on like two quote, quotes <laughs> um, for my skin to kind of feel moisturized. But I realized with the facial oil, um, right after you know I've finished toning does kind of help to seal in everything alright now that's nicely done now once I've done the facial oil the next step, the next step that I do um, for the night really is the um, intensive intensive moisture night cream and that's usually one of like the, the last thing that I put onto my face um, if I've been out in the sun like all day or so, I do, I would put on like an eye cream. Um, I don't have too much, you know, under eye stuff going on. Uh, so I don't really use as much night, you know, under eye cream. Um, as, and, you know, other persons will do. Som sometimes I'll do it, sometimes I don't. Um, but I use, so I do use a secret. I do use their night cream. I do, I do actually like it. It smells amazing. Um, and, and trust me, you want to use products. It smell good to make your skin look good, look better, feel better all around, right? So that's just my quick, you know, nighttime makeup removal, you know, skin moisture routine that I usually do. So, oh, all right. And that's all she wrote, you know. That's it. So thank you guys so much for sticking around. Stay tuned. You know, see my little quick makeup removal, what I usually do step by step. I will list the products below. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me them and I will follow up with you guys. But oh my goodness. Thank you guys for sticking around. I'll see you guys next time.